Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Greetings from Manipal, myself Chandrika Nayak from the Department of Biochemistry at the Manipal Academy of Higher Education. There are many medical emergencies when a patient will have to be rushed to the emergency room and one among these conditions is ketoacidosis. So today we shall slowly try to decipher and understand what is ketosis, ketoacidosis, let us see some condition which predispose a person towards ketoacidosis. What are ketone bodies and how are they formed? What are their significance? So, let us make a beginning. Let us make a beginning to ketoacidosis with a case study. Let us take the example of Mona. Mona is presenting to the emergency room with lethargy, vomiting, and abdominal pain. History reveals that she is a diabetic and on insulin therapy. Physical examination, she is presenting with deep breathing, rapid breathing, gasping as we say it and she has a fruity odor in her breath. Investigations are done, it reveals that she is having severe hypoglycemia. So, hyperglycemia along with acidosis, this glycosuria and also ketonuria. So, let us quickly try to understand, she is being admitted immediately to rectify the life threatening condition she has. So, this is Mona's presentation to the emergency room. So, a quick look at the case will tell us that since she is a diabetic and on insulin therapy, probably she has missed her insulin dose and she is a classic case of uncontrolled diabetes mellitus presenting with severe diabetic ketoacidosis. This is just one Mona's case too as an example for ketoacidosis, but there can be a similar situation of ketosis when a person is going in for a prolonged starvation or as we know today many of us discuss about this keto diet which is a part of weight loss regime. What is it? It is basically low carbohydrate and high fat diet. So, people who take a keto diet may end up with ketosis or a person who is undergoing alcohol intoxication can also present to the emergency room with ketoacidosis or ketosis. Von Gerg's disease, this is one of the examples of glycogen storage disorder which is an inborn error of metabolism, but presents same with ketosis features. Febrile state in kids, some of the kids having high fever can also present with similar symptoms. So, all these are conditions which predispose a person to have or develop ketosis. So, let us start decoding Mona's signs and symptoms one by one. Why did Mona have a fruity odor in her breath? What is there that is escaping in her uh, breath that is giving a fruity odor? Why is she presenting with deep breath or why is she gasping? What has made her respiratory center to stimulate? Why is she breathing at a fast rate? What is ketonuria? What has appeared in the urine suddenly? What is it? And then why is she presenting with acidosis? So, what are the learning goals or learning objectives for this session? So, it will be what are ketone bodies? Why does a body produce ketone bodies at all? What are the conditions that predispose a person to produce more and more of ketone bodies? What is the significance of ketone bodies? in a person's metabolism. Finally, we will try to uh, understand what is ketosis and how it progresses towards ketoacidosis. As you can see the structure here, 
there are certain chemical compounds shown. What is common in all the three? There is a ketone group in each of this organic compound. So, any compound that is produced which has a C double bond O group is a ketone. So, what are ketone bodies that we produce inside our body? They are water soluble lipid metabolites that means they are coming from lipid metabolism. How are they? They are acids in nature. So, they are acidic in nature. They are produced by the liver but remember one thing liver only produces them but it cannot use it. When is it produced then by the body? When our fat in the adipose tissue is being burnt at a very fast rate that time ketone bodies are produced by a person. And why does the body produce these ketone bodies? It is an alternative fuel. Alternative fuel for whom? To the brain or the muscle. It could be skeletal muscle, cardiac muscle. But why? Because body is trying to save the glucose for certain cells like RBCs which thrive only on glucose. So, when a person is fasting or undergoing starvation, he needs energy for his brain and skeletal muscle, cardiac muscle. All this will be taken over by ketone bodies. So, it is called as the alternative fuel in the period of crisis like starvation. So, let us come back to the factors disposing to ketosis once again. So, I have already told you but it is a repetition. So, it could be prolonged starvation, it could be untreated type 1 diabetes mellitus or a keto diet which is nothing but low carbohydrate and high fat diet. What happens? Whether it is starvation, whether it is untreated diabetes mellitus or whether it is a keto diet, person is having keto diet, what is happening inside him? Insulin is dropping, glucagon is rising in all these situations. So what? There is lipolysis or fat breakdown in the white adipose tissue. So, there is lots and lots of fatty acid coming out into the blood. Where will the fatty acid go? The fatty acid is directed towards the liver and liver starts oxidizing it. There is beta oxidation of fatty acid in the uh, liver. And as a result, the surplus of acetyl CoA produced in the liver. Usually, liver transits this into the TCA cycle to get energy. But in this situation, in this condition, it is not happening because due to beta oxidation, there is lots of energy produced and there is no need. So, TCA cycle is slowed down. So, what is the alternative? What do we do with the excess acetyl CoA? Diversion. Diversion towards what? what is called as ketogenesis. So, this person now starts producing ketone body. When it comes into the blood, it causes ketosis. So, that is what we are going to learn today. What causes ketosis? So, let us start learning from the scratch. That is, what are ketone bodies? Can we classify them? Yes, we can classify them. So, what are the types? What are the names? We can divide ketone body into two groups, the primary ketone body and the secondary ketone body. Which is the primary ketone body? The primary ketone body is acetoacetate. From this, you can make secondaries. So, that is why they are called as secondary ketone bodies. And secondary ketone bodies are two. One is 3-hydroxybutyrate. You can also call it as beta-hydroxybutyrate. And the second one is acetone. Here I would like to emphasize among the two secondaries, acetone is a non-metabolite. That means we cannot get energy from that. It is volatile. It escapes in the breath through the lungs. That is why I told you in the beginning, Mona has a fruity odor in her breath. What is it due to? Now you can understand. It is because of acetone. There is lots and lots of acetone coming out in her breath which is a secondary ketone body. That is why she has a fruity odor in her breath. So, let us study ketone body metabolism. The word metabolism means we are discussing building and breaking that is anabolism, catabolism. So, what is ketone body metabolism? Synthesis of ketone bodies 
that is ketogenesis and breakdown or utilization of ketone bodies that is ketolysis. So, ketone body metabolism will study both ketogenesis, ketolysis. So, let us begin with the synthesis. How do we produce ketone bodies? So, let us talk about ketogenesis. Please remember ketogenesis happens in only one place in the body and that is the liver. So, the site is liver. We produce ketone bodies only in the liver. And where inside the liver cell? Inside the mitochondrial compartment. So, subcellular site is mitochondria. And then from where do we start? Who is the starting material or the precursor? It is acetyl-CoA. So, building material is acetyl-CoA. And where do we get this acetyl-CoA from? Fats are being broken down, so beta oxidation of fatty acyl CoA and also proteins are broken down, amino acids are broken down, so you can get it from ketogenic amino acids also. So, I repeat acetyl CoA comes from two things when we are starving, that is, it comes from the beta oxidation of fatty acids and the catabolism of ketogenic amino acids. Okay, the stage is set precursors are ready. Let us study the reactions. So, we have the white adipose tissue. The picture here shows white adipose tissue is mobilizing the fat through lipolysis. So, the liver is getting the fatty acids. So, the liver now has received the fatty acids as you can see here. So, now it sends through beta oxidation and it makes acetyl-CoA. And what does liver do with the acetyl-CoA? Ketogenesis. So, the ketone bodies are ready. And then the ketone bodies, I told you liver cannot use it. So, what will it do if it produces? It will just spill it to the blood. So, let us begin the biochemical reactions. Two molecules of acetyl-CoA to begin with. Enzyme is thiolase, you make the first compound acetoacetyl-CoA. Then you use a second enzyme. Before that, I would like you to remember through fatty acid oxidation, you can either get fatty acyl-CoA or you can get acetoacetyl-CoA. Then comes HMG-CoA synthase which produces HMG-CoA, 3-hydroxy-3-methyl-glutaryl-CoA. Why did I put an asterisk as you can see here for HMG-CoA synthase? Because this is an isoenzyme in the mitochondria. We have one more enzyme HMG-CoA synthase in the cytosol. If you recall, it is used for cholesterol synthesis. So, that is different. This mitochondrial one is a different isoenzyme. And from HMG-CoA, we make our primary ketone body. So, I have highlighted this. So, we have the primary ketone body produced acetoacetate. And I told you from the primary, we make the secondaries. So, let us look at this reaction. From ester state, we are making beta hydroxybutyrate. And for this, you need NADH. And you can produce one more secondary ketone body, and that is acetone. Again, I emphasize acetone is a non metabolite, volatile, it just escapes in the breath, it gives no energy. And that is the reason for fruity odor. So, let us talk about ketolysis, breaking the ketone bodies or rather how does body utilize the ketone bodies? Where does ketolysis take place? I told you liver only produces, liver cannot use it, it will spill it to the blood. From the blood, where next? From the blood, it is being picked up by the muscles or picked up by the brain. Why? Because they need energy from ketone bodies. So, let us begin with ketolysis. It can happen. It is utilization and where does it take place? Skeletal muscle, cardiac muscle or the brain. And which is the site? Same subcellular site. It is mitochondrial compartment. So, the picture if you have a quick look at this, it is trying to show you two uh, sites, adipocyte and the liver. The adipocyte has mobilized the fat the fatty acid has come to the liver, became acetyl-CoA and became ketone bodies. Now, it is time for ketolysis. So, I am highlighting here. So, ketolysis happens in the brain, the skeletal muscle and the cardiac muscle. So, let us see the biochemical reactions. So, 
predominant ketone body that circulates in the blood, I emphasize it is beta hydroxybutyrate or 3 hydroxybutyrate. So, cells are going to pick it up, what will they do? They need a special enzyme, so that converts it to acetoacetate. What do we do with the acetoacetate? There is a unique enzyme called thiophorase, this is needed for ketolysis. So, with this enzyme, you can utilize ketone bodies. Now comes the reason why liver cannot use ketone bodies. Simple fact, it does not have this enzyme thiophorase. Liver lacks thiophorase. That is why liver only produces, liver does not use it because evolutionarily liver has lost its thiophorase action. So, you get estoestyl coa what do we do with acetoacetyl coa How do we use it further or ketolysis further? From acetoacetyl coa you can undergo further reactions. At this point of time, I would like to tell you for thiophorase action, we need succinyl coa and the succinyl coa comes from TCA cycle intermediates and all this is happening inside the mitochondria. So, succinyl coa is readily available. So, acetoacetyl coa is further degraded, you get acetyl coa and once you have your acetyl coa whether it is brain or the muscle they will use it through TCA cycle and get energy. So, this is the complete set of reactions of ketolysis. The brain and the muscle have used the ketone bodies through these reactions and they have lots and lots of energy. So, when a person is starving or when a person is having keto diet or when a person is undergoing uncontrolled diabetes mellitus, this is what will happen. He will start utilizing this ketone bodies. So, again it is recapitulating or a summary again ketone body metabolism in the form of a picture. So, let us have a quick look at this animation. So, you have the white adipose tissue, starvation or keto diet or uncontrolled diabetes mellitus, there is lipolysis, you have fatty acids and with fatty acids you send it to the liver. They are oxidized in the liver, you get acetyl coa and from the acetyl coa you build the ketone bodies and the ketone bodies now come out into the blood. This is ketogenesis. We proceed further. These ketone bodies are pricked up by brain or muscle. And then what do they do with ketone bodies? They will again convert it back to acetyl coa. What do we call this? We call it ketolysis. And what is the purpose of having ketolysis? Energy purpose. So, through acetyl coa, brain and muscle will get lots and lots of energy through TCA cycle. Significance of ketone bodies. Why did body devise ketone bodies? See, if it is fat or fatty acid, if you have to move it through the blood, you will either need lipoproteins or you will need albumin. So, there is a problem in transportation. But what is the advantage of ketone bodies? They are water soluble. So, you just put them into the blood, they will start moving easily. They are water soluble. So, unlike any other lipid metabolite, it is very easy to transport ketone bodies. They do not need lipoproteins, they will not need albumin. They freely flow in the blood to the desired tissues. That is the first significance of having it. Then, they are produced from the liver. Why does liver produce it? See, when the liver is flooded with acetyl CoA more than its capacity to use it or oxidize it, what can liver do? Liver takes an alternative path. So, the alternative path is producing ketone bodies. And then, when a person is starving or fasting, he needs energy for brain, muscle, continuously they are working. So, ketone body becomes the alternative fuel for brain and muscle. So, these are the three important reasons why body produces ketone body. I repeat, the first one, it is easy to transport these lipid metabolites, they are water soluble. Second, it helps the liver to channelize them when its capacity to oxidize acetyl CoA has been um, crossed. And the third reason is it is a very good alternative fuel for the brain or the muscle during these crisis situations. So, let us now come to what we began with. We began with Mona's case. She presented with ketoacidosis. So, before that, let us see what is ketosis. 
It's a collective term for ketonemia, ketonuria. When ketone bodies is high in the blood, you call it ketonemia. And when the ketone bodies come in the urine, you call it ketonuria. So, a combination of increased ketone bodies in the blood and their levels in the urine is collectively called as ketosis. So, basically, simply if I have to tell you, it simply means that there are lots of ketone bodies in the blood and they are escaping in the urine. Metabolic state when body is majorly fueled by the fat and it is a metabolic adaptation to starvation. It helps the brain and the skeletal muscle to survive and the rate of ketogenesis is greater than ketolysis. That is why a person goes in for ketosis. So, let us now try to contrast these terms ketosis, ketoacidosis. So, ketosis they say is a term associated with the weight loss diet. It is a normal metabolic adaptation. When a person is eating less or less carbohydrate, he might develop ketosis. When does ketosis turn dangerous? Ketosis turns dangerous when the levels shoot up in the blood. So, that is when we call it ketoacidosis, Mona's case. So, ketoacidosis is a life threatening condition, medical emergency. That is why she was rushed to the emergency room. And it results when ketone bodies are extremely high in the blood and it leads to dehydration, acidosis because ketone bodies are water soluble. When they are going out in the urine, they will pull water also. So, a person will experience dehydration. That is why she was experiencing dehydration and these are acids. Ketone bodies are acids. So, that is why she is having also acidic blood, acidosis. Okay? And therefore, the only treatment for this is immediate medical attention to treat dehydration, treat acidosis. So, what are the blood ketone body levels? All of us have very low ketone bodies in our blood. So, normally most of us normal person will have ketone bodies less than 3 milligrams per deciliter any given time. And when do we call diabetic ketoacidosis? When the level in a person in the blood of ketone bodies rises above 90 milligrams per deciliter. That is when you call it ketoacidosis. So, urine levels also can go very high. How high? It might go up to about 5000 milligram in a 24 hours pooled urine sample. So, these are the levels in a normal person and when he is experiencing ketoacidosis. So, what are the consequences of ketonemia? It uh, leaves the liver, sorry, it goes out in the urine, it is called ketonuria. It pulls water along with it, the person will experience osmotic diuresis because of this a person may develop dehydration. When he loses ketone bodies, he loses water, there is dehydration. And please remember these are acids, they will throw out H plus in the blood that makes the blood acidic, so acidosis. And because of this, the person can go in for coma, ketotic coma, medical attention is to be given immediately. And then I told you she was gasping when she came. Why? Because these uh, acidosis conditions made stimulation for the respiratory center to compensate and she was compensating for the acidosis and she had that pattern of Kuzmol's breathing. And that is the reason why she had a fruity odor. That is because acetones were being expelled by the lungs and it was coming in her breath. That is why she had a fruity odor in her breath. So, after having told you so much about ketone bodies, ketoacidosis, ketogenesis, ketolysis, let me see if you could recollect what I have told. So, I have just some single best MCQs, try otherwise I will give out the answer to you. So, just try which of the following tissue is the primary site of ketogenesis? In simple words, where do we produce ketones? I have given you four options, adipose tissue, skeletal muscle, brain and liver. If you have listened carefully, yes, the answer is liver. Liver is the site which is the primary site of ketogenesis. So, let us try one more. Which of the following is a primary ketone body? You heard so many ketone bodies. Try to identify which one is primary among this. Acetyl-CoA, acetoacetyl-CoA, acetoacetate or 3-hydroxybutyrate? Yes, the answer is acetoacetate. I have two more for you. 
which of the following condition leads to ketoacidosis? Just read the four conditions. See if you can tell me precisely, okay, this condition a person can end up with ketoacidosis. I began with the case of Mona. Yes, the answer is uncontrolled diabetes mellitus. The classic case when a person can get into ketoacidosis. And then finally one more, which of the following is the prominent source of acetyl-CoA for ketogenesis? Where do we get acetyl-CoA from? The answer is fatty acids among the four options. So, it is time to wind up. So, let us have a quick summary of ketosis. What is ketosis? You should be able to tell anyone. It is a normal survival mechanism for a person when he is starving or he is fasting. When does it happen? When a person is breaking his fat excessively or at a fast rate, he will experience ketosis. Who uses this ketone bodies? Brain and muscle. When do they switch over for this energy? That is when there is starvation. Whereas ketoacidosis is a life threatening condition. Why is it dangerous? It makes the blood acidic and it is a life threatening condition. And most common conditions for ketosis or ketoacidosis, I repeat one final time, it is when a person is starving or when a person is going through keto diet for weight loss or in uncontrolled diabetes mellitus. So, that is all I had to tell you about Mona's case of ketosis and with that we try to understand everything about ketone body metabolism, its significance and so it is time to wind up. Thank you.